It was the news that blew up American soccer Twitter midweek on Tuesday night for Major League Soccer considering a change to its playoff format. The Athletic reporting that a couple of the formats being considered, one would see eight teams, eight teams from each conference into a group stage uh, with four teams, the top two advancing into a knockout stage, if that sounds familiar, yes, uh, somewhat like the World Cup. Another format could be much more simple, home and away into a knockout rounds. Uh, could add about 25 games to the season. That's what's under consideration, according to The Athletic, as MLS uh, considers a change to its postseason structure. For more on this and much more, we welcome now to the show John Champion. He, of course, is the voice of Major League Soccer on ESPN. Got a big game coming up, but uh, first things first, John, on this show we have a segment usually called Are You Cool With It? So we got to get your thoughts on the proposed playoff changes. Are you cool with them, or would you like things to say kind of the way that they are? I'm not particularly cool with them, no. I mean, just put me straight on this. To me, the playoffs are there to underline excellence during the season. So the elite teams from that season's regular campaign should be in the playoffs. As I understand this new suggestion, the top eight from either conference will be in. So of the 29 teams that will be in Major League Soccer next season, 16 will be in the playoffs. So unless my elementary school mathematics is completely up the spout, it's actually harder to miss the playoffs than Ooh. to be in them. So how does that work? How is that underlining excellence at the end of the season? Um, uh, my other thing is that if there's one particular uh, quality that MLS generally lacks, for me it's jeopardy. There are too many games that don't mean enough. And if you have more playoff games, you're actually lessening the degree of jeopardy. So I don't really understand that either. So I'm looking at this and thinking, well, is this Major League Soccer just having change for change's sake? Is it Major League Soccer mm. saying, right, we need inventory for a, a new broadcast partner? If it is, fine, it's a good enough reason, just say it. But for me, looking at it from a sporting perspective, I don't see the need. Why break something that, that actually doesn't need to be altered at the moment? I think since we got rid of the home and away format for the playoffs, it's got a whole lot better. Yeah, uh, why would you want it as well? I, I love this uh, one home game, uh, you're out, the games finally mean something in regular season, John. And can I for a second uh, vouch for the player? How many more games are you going to add? You mm -hmm. throw in their mm -hmm. League's Cup, that showcase another World Cup style format plus national team. Some of these players are going to be playing 60, 70 games a year. Now you can say what you want. Oh, the Europeans do it. That's fine. Different ball game different set of rules that you're playing by. If I'm a player right now, I just negotiated a CBA that had nothing to do with 25 extra games. John, you're the one calling no. these games, right? I mean, the single format, single elimination, knockout format, how much better, how much oh. more edge does that give these games? Oh, it's 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 doubly good to, to what was there before. They've halved the number of games and, and doubled the quality of the product, as far as I'm concerned. You need that instant jeopardy. You need people to pay, up, pay, pay the ticket price, turn up, and know that they're going to see an outcome there and then, in front of their eyes. And it, it's, it's live or die. It's not, hopefully we get a good enough result that in our next group game, we can continue our progress through these endless playoffs. That, that, that's not a playoff to me. That's another, almost a mini league competition. So that's where I'm at odds with this suggestion, really. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.